Welcome back, everybody. Yesterday, we started Blasphemous 2 live streams, and it has been a blast so far. This Metroidvania Souls like is a perfect successor to its 2019 sequel. Today, we're going to go over five tips and tricks that are going to be useful to new players jumping into the Blasphemous series. Let's start with number one don't be afraid of making the wrong weapon choice early on you are going to be able to find the other weapons in fact they are crucial towards your progression in the blasphemous map because each weapon is able to interact with various things on the map and you need all three weapons and some in order to be able to complete the whole blasphemous 2 map so my advice choose whichever one you think looks cool or you like fighting with because that's the one you're gonna start with you're gonna get the other ones later Tip number two, explore, explore, explore. There are hidden walls. There are secret areas in Blasphemous 2. Souls fans are very familiar with hidden areas because they're plagued in all of the Souls games. So here as well, you are going to have to be smacking some of these stone walls to see if they are going to open for you. Now, sometimes what might end up happening too, you might end up finding a secret area with an item only to get locked in there and you're gonna have to survive a little trial by fire literally so make sure you explore everything because there's a lot of hidden goodies even quest line items hidden behind secret areas and hidden walls number three make sure you upgrade all of your weapons skill trees all of the skill trees add incredible abilities to your weapons you would be missing out on a ton of varied gameplay if you didn't do that for example this huge mace is able to turn itself on fire you are able to swing a smoldering mace how cool is that and that's just one of many potential skills that you can add for this one weapon with the sword itself you're able to infuse lightning on it you get a lightning meter the more hits you get on an enemy without taking damage the more that meter builds up once it builds up to the maximum your sword is now a lightning infused sword every hit will do additional damage that is lightning damage to an enemy it is super cool and on top of that you're able to swap weapons in combat so you're able to hit guys with your smoldering mace switch to your sword charge it up and then start doing crazy lightning damage to those enemies after that number four there are a lot of npcs in blasphemous 2 similar to, to hollow knight and other souls games and metroidvanias they all have some kind of quest that they want you to do for them so make sure you talk to every single one of them exhaust their dialogues and when you pick up items from the world map they could be potentially key items for progressing those quest lines so you should be going back and interacting with those specific npcs as much as possible some npcs will also sell you items they are traders other npcs might also upgrade your ability abilities like your health and your fervor so make sure you keep going back and talking to the npcs you've already discovered last but not least a lot of souls fans are very used to rolling around and getting iframes to dodge attacks here you kind of have something like that with the slide however there is one other thing you should be using in all of your fights it is the jump these metroidvania games are designed in such a way that that there are weapon attacks and abilities that you can only dodge through a jump so make sure you utilize that jump if you are going to try to slide through some of those attacks you will fail and you will die so jump and slide in blasphemous 2 that is a key tip right there if you want to be successful in all of your fights all right guys so that's about it five tips in five minutes if you enjoyed this video please like it subscribe to my channel the support really is appreciated and i will catch you next time see ya